Tom's Hardware. I'm at Samsung's Unpacked event, and I'm checking out the new Galaxy Note 5. This is a sequel to last week, last year's Galaxy Note 4, uh, one of our favorite phones from last year. And obviously, there's going to be some differences. Um, and clearly, you can see that they've taken the design language of the Galaxy S6 and Galaxy S6 Edge and applied it to the Note series. So what we have here is a glass back with curved, uh, curved corners, which makes it uh, comfortable, more comfortable to hold. But being a Note phone, it still has the, uh, the flat front screen. There is also a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus, same size phone with dual curved display. Um, there is no um, Note with a curved display like there was the Galaxy Note last year. So around back, we have a 16 megapixel shooter, same camera hardware as the Galaxy S6, but there is a new video stabilization mode. Um, as you can see, it's a metal frame side. There's a USB port and headphone here on the bottom. Um, mono speaker, so no stereo speakers. Um, basically, this looks like a, a blown up uh, Galaxy S6. And of course, this new design means that the new Note does not have a removable battery and does not have a micro SD slot. This is something that's going to be disappointing to a lot of uh, our readers, probably, and a lot of Note fans. It is a 3,000 milliamp battery, so it is a, lo a larger battery. Um, so in combination with the um, Exynos 7420 processor and the 5.7 inch Quad HD display, you're probably going to see battery life that is not as good as the Note 4 and certainly not as good as the Note 3. Uh, to compensate for that, Samsung, of course, is promoting their wireless um, charging, and they say actually it supports wireless fast charging now, along with wired fast charging. But I still think there's no substitute for an actual replaceable battery when you need to power up the phone very quickly. Um, being a note, of course, there is an S Pen, and this S Pen is now spring-loaded, so you push the, uh, the pen in and it pops out. Um, and the S Pen has also been redesigned and nicer looking. And as you can see, uh, the Air Command menu, uh, the default way to access S Pen features, has been upgraded and changed on the Note 5. So instead of that little uh, radio menu that popped up before, uh, the screen blurs out and you actually get now an option to choose uh, any of these actions. Um, hasn't been much change in the way of what the Note 5 can do. Um, there's action, there's memo, you can uh, capture the screen, you can take an S node, um, it has handwriting recognition. So apparently on this model, the handwriting recognition has been improved. You can also capture a screen while scrolling so you can capture uh, a full web page rather than just what you see on the display. Um, and as you can see, the Air Command menu uh, stays on the screen at all times and is accessible in any app. So th this is definitely an improved way to uh, access um, the S Pen's functionality on the uh, Note 5. Uh, as I mentioned, it's running an Exynos 7420 SoC, um, so it has the same uh, processor and GPU as the uh, S6 series. Uh, however, it does have four gigs of RAM, so it does have improved RAM. Um, Storage-wise, there's a 32 gig model and a 64 gig model, and there is no micro SD slot. Uh, you can see that the software has also changed a little bit. This is the new version of TouchWiz, so we see some different icons. So it's still running Android Lollipop 5.1.1, so the underlying version of Android has not changed. So there's not a huge difference between this um, software rise between the Galaxy S6. Um, basically, it's just the S Pen features that you'll find have been enhanced and improved on the new uh, Note 5. Um, it is notable to say that the, the phone is very compact for a 5.7 inch display device. You can see the bezel on the side here is really, really thin. So it is a very uh, good size for such a big phone, but it's still not a small phone by any stretch of the imagination. Um, there's only a mono speaker. I wish that there had also been uh, maybe the option to put uh, stereo speakers. Surely there's enough room on this device for Samsung to incorporate stereo speakers but it doesn't seem to be a high priority for them. Um, it also supports um, Samsung's new ultra um, high quality audio, which basically can upscale um, your audio to uh, high definition. Um, and um, 
It can also deliver high definition audio across Bluetooth with some of it, uh, Samsung's own Bluetooth headsets. Um, one other new feature, or not really new, because it was available on the S6, is Samsung Pay, which is Samsung's mobile payment solution. Um, it will finally be available in Korea at the end of August and in September in the US. Um, and the S6 uh, Edge Plus, the S6 Edge, the S6, and the Note 5 will all support Samsung Pay. Now this is the um, black model, which is going to be coming to the US, and there's also a white model. Um, there are some other colors in other markets, but unfortunately we won't see those over here. Um, and it will be available in the US on August 21st, so very, very soon. And in actual fact, uh, the day of this event, you can actually pre-order the phone as well. Um, no pricing has been announced. Um, Carrier-wise, you're looking at um, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, US Cellular uh, in the US. Um, in Canada, um, you know, every carry under sun, uh, basically Samsung's phones are carried by everybody in Canada. So I just see this on Bell, Rogers, Telus. Um, and a wide variety of other carriers. So this has been a quick look at the new Galaxy Note 5 at Samsung's Unpacked event. This is Alex and Towns Hardware, and uh, thanks for watching.